Today we're setting up a deployment pipeline. Go to workspaces and then at the very bottom we have deployment pipelines. Now, why are we doing this? Because you want a completely separate workspace to run your production in. We're not going to do tests, we're just going to have development and prod. Click create and continue and then got it, got it. Then we're going to assign a development and a production workspace. I'm going to select everything and go for deploy. It's going to deploy everything. It's also going to continue because remember, lake houses uh, with a schema are currently not supported for deployment pipelines. Now, I had totally nothing in my production environment, and you can see now that it's creating all these items. If you go to the settings, you can see that it's created today at 8.30 p.m. And it's that easy. Now, if I want to change something in a development and I'm testing and I'm good with it, I can bring it to prod really easy. Just go to production, select everything, go deploy and go. Now you can play around in your development workspace and not interfere with your production reports.